you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. There's a lot of people moving down to Albuquerque. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the 10 main reasons why a lot of people are moving down here in 2023. So let's get right into it. Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Eli. Welcome to the Living in Albuquerque channel. If this is your first time tuning in, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe and notification bell down at the bottom here, pointing down somewhere around here. <laughs> that way you guys are never missing on any kind of videos because I am dropping videos every week talking about the beautiful and amazing things our city of Albuquerque and the surrounding areas have to offer to you. Now, aside from doing these amazing videos, you know, looking cool, looking great, you know, sitting at cool parks like this, I am also a local real estate agent here in Albuquerque. And as much as I love doing this, I would also love to help you out with your real estate needs. So that number popping up on the screen here is my direct line. So if there's anything I can help you out with, please feel free to reach out. Yo, there's a lot of people moving down to Albuquerque, well, Southwest in general, but we are seeing a high influx of people moving down here to Albuquerque. And you're probably wondering why is it even a good place? Is it even a good idea? Well, in this video, I'm going to touch on 10 points on why or more or less why the reasons why people are moving down here. So let's get right into it. Yo, look, it's no secret. The climate and the weather here is spectacular. It's awesome, right? We sit above. 5,000 feet of sea level so the weather can get kind of cold kind of it is harder to breathe so if you got an issue with that you might want to think about those kinds of things talk to your doctors before moving down here because that may make it harder for you to breathe if you already have an inhaler those kinds of things sleep apnea but aside from all those health risks and health problems the weather here is amazing over 300 plus days of sun and you know we do experience mild summers here they aren't super hot they aren't going to be super crazy. And along with the winters, right, we get days that we get a lot of snow. We get pummeled with snow here in Albuquerque, but more times than not, it's not going to be to where you're going to not be able to leave the house, right? It might not be it, okay for you to drive in the morning just because of how cold it is. The roads may ice over and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, mild winters, mild coats, you might want to start looking into if you are planning on moving down here and start investing into some a lot more short sleeves and tank tops because it gets hot sometimes. All right, now talking about the higher altitude, yes, we do sit above 5,000 feet of sea level. And whatever that means in science terms, you guys can kind of make the, the just the idea of what I'm talking about. But you may want to consider that if you're moving down here, because it is going to be, if you do have breathing issues or you have trouble breathing, you might want to talk to your doctor and ask them if this would be a good move for you. Um, Either way, we still got options for you because obviously we have the closer to the mountains you get, the harder it is going to be for you to breathe because of the different elevation changes and how quick it changes. So if you do want to move down here, me, we might want to talk about, hey, moving closer to the valleys, closer to the, the Rio Grande, those kinds of things. Okay, now talking about valleys and moving down to the north and south valley, the monsoon is going to affect you you might want to think about that we do get a ton of rain from july to september um and light thunderstorms those kinds of things but in those areas you can experience flash floods just because the drainage down there isn't the greatest so what i mean is a lot of uh streets down there don't have sidewalks and the drainage to the actual uh streets isn't quite there um not a bad thing but also not a good thing so if you are moving down in those areas, you might want to think about like, hey, if I do experience flash floods, um, what can I do to avoid those kinds of areas? And you can kind of pretty much pinpoint now exactly where these floods happen based off of some maps that you can find online. Don't let the rain stop you. Don't let the snow stop you because they are mild. When it does rain here, it pours like the saying goes. But the outdoor activities that we have here are abundant so whatever weather you find you may find yourself in we do have a ton of outdoor activities like biking hiking kayaking fishing hunting and even skiing up in the san Diego mountains it isn't the best ski resort but it's 
um, close enough to where you can get out there. And, you know, if you do enjoy skiing or snowboarding, you can get out there in the snow, have that kind of fun. If it's a nice day like today, then, hey, you might want to go out fishing at Tingley Beach, go down to the Rio Grande, do some kayaking, some rafting. Whatever the case is that you might enjoy going outside to do, we have it for you. Or you just want to enjoy some beautiful landscaping, we also got that for you as well. Okay, now, along the lines of outdoor activities and all that thing, the cost of living here is affordable, just like those activities. You know, you can do those things for nearly free. Cost of living isn't going to be free, but it is going to be lower than some other areas. We are cheaper than Denver by 19%. And you can just kind of imagine those different bigger areas like your New York's and your California's and what we're looking at as far as being affordable. And our utilities here aren't super expensive. Anywhere from 300 to 400 bucks, all depending on, you know, the type of internet that you're wanting to acquire, you need high speed, all that, and what carrier you have. And talking about housing, right, because we are in the real estate market. Housing here is still pretty affordable. We're looking at the median 300s as far as the median home price goes. That goes, you know, to sale or closes. Which means that you can come down here and purchase a three bed, two halves in kind of a retrospective idea that is kind of like a general home for a very affordable price. Now, renting, on the other hand, you're looking about an average of 1200 bucks for the same type of house. Now, it all varies depending on what zip code or what side of town you're wanting to stay on because of the different amenities those towns those uh, sides of town have so you may want to think about that kind of thing now when it comes down to food you always got to talk about this one of my favorite topics right because i love to eat um food you know you're you're going to be spending anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks on a on a week on groceries on average and that includes eating out See, for a guy like me that eats out a uh, maybe two to three times a week just because we're so busy with kids. We're running around, you know, doing these videos or my wife's business. Whatever the case is, we might grab a bite to quick bite to eat. But that on average for family four costs us about anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks. You do the math for a family for, you know, two people. A nice dining might cost you about 40 bucks. So not super expensive. If you're planning on just cooking at home, you like to do that whole thing maybe 150 bucks just depending on you know where you go and shop at if you're bougie like me i like sprouts chicken because they got all the different types of flavored chicken from barbecue i just picked one up last night that was a pickle brine i don't even like pickles that much but gosh that flavoring chicken that they have there just blows costco and walmart out of the water my opinion <laughs> okay so you're going to have to be able to afford this kind of lifestyle here. And along with being affordable, the job market here is thriving. You know, we got a robust healthcare system that, you know, has a ton of different opportunities, whether you're a nurse or a doctor or you're a traveling nurse. They, they got all these different things to offer you that really helps with the uh, overall spending of, you know, living here. We also got the movie industry that's moving down here. We got Disney starting to film some movies down here. They just recently filmed a new Cheeto movie, which I think hits um, streaming lines here pretty soon, right? And that's kind of all been filmed down here by Eva Longoria. You got other people like Netflix and those kinds of things. You got different kinds of shows being filmed down here that are super famous, like Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad and those shows that have just kind of made Albuquerque a household name. I wouldn't say in a good or a bad way, but hey, you know, it's brought a lot of uh, economic growth to us and it's helped out a ton. Now, aside from that, big tech is moving down here. We have Amazon and Facebook who have already established themselves here and that's helped out a ton. They're not here in the city. Well, Amazon is here in the city, but they're more on the outskirts. They bought the old Tempur-Pedic building and that's helped out it would, you know, create a bunch of different jobs for people from driving to working in their warehouse to, you know, the, the affiliate thing where you just kind of pick, help them pick up the the one-off packages and those kinds of deals and then we also have education our education system here is in lack of teachers so we are looking for teachers who move down here and help our education system uh, a lot of you know those teachers from the public education system have either you know retired in masses or they moved on to do the whole private school thing and homeschooling thing to help out um, in those areas so big opportunity in education as far as you know the public school system great benefits great retirement and that's also something to think about if you are moving down here, if you are a teacher. 
Now, along the lines of market opportunity, our cuisine market is, it is robust. It's crazy. There's a bunch of opportunity there from, you know, either having, uh, what is it called? The taco truck. You know, you haul a trailer around, you set it all up. I've seen different kinds of taco trucks. I've even seen one where they sell sushi and tacos. There's that mix there, or pokies. You know, all these different kinds of opportunities that are rising in that industry there. And our cuisine, you know, mainly spicy. I got to warn you, we mainly pride ourselves on our green chili. Sometimes we may get, may get lucky where it's a little sweet and it's not super spicy, but most of the time we go for that spicy uh, category because, I don't know, maybe we're a little bit psychopathic down here with our, with our cuisine. Just kidding. No, but for real, the green chili here and the red chili, sometimes you can mix them both and you just get this flavor combo that is amazing. You may want to try like a Bocadillo's or go down to Mario's to get some good Italian pizza. We got it all, you know, even down to... Gosh, what did I try the other day that was like kind of different? Um, Mediterranean food. I've never had like a like an actual marine Mediterranean place. You can actually go to this place and they have you know like an official place where you sit down basically on the floor. I thought it was super cool. That might be something that you guys may enjoy. So a little bit of everything for everyone, you know. So there's never going to be a lack of cuisine. There's always something to eat, whether you're um, looking for you know noodles, tacos or a hamburger, we got it all. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the vibe that we have here. The people in Albuquerque are super chill, laid back, and we all we are, we are hardworking people, right? It's that old saying of work hard, play hard, and we really play hard. Some of us even play a little too hard, but nevertheless, we are hard workers. We like to get down and dirty. We are a super blue-collar community, so... We like to be laid back and down to earth. We don't like the the high classy lifestyle. We like to play it chill, kind of hang out anywhere you go. You're going to be seeing a lot more, you know, boots, actually work boots and jeans, um, sneakers, t-shirts. You're not going to see a whole lot of dressy things. We have that here, but you know, when you go to those places, you can actually tell the vibe. But majority of the time, you can get away with wearing flip flops and you know jeans or shorts. Just laid back, chill like I am right now. Check this out. Got this for my birthday. Wife and kids. I'm a big fly fisherman, so you couldn't tell by now. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. All right, now tying into the vibe and what we, you know, are as a culture here in the community. Um, getting involved in the community is super easy. There's a ton of events that always is looking for volunteers. And they're always accepting people like, hey, if you want to come and help, we really appreciate that. We thank you. We're so grateful. Uh, thank you for coming down to help us, that kind of thing. So if you're looking to find a new group, a new set of friends, or you're just starting fresh, Albuquerque is probably one of the best places to do it because we are super welcoming. We don't care where you come from. We don't care, you know, what your backstory is. Some of us, you know, understand it we've, and we're super forgiving. So we just want to help you get ahead and give you that leg up. So super welcoming. <music> All right, so talking about traffic here, just to end it, and the traffic here isn't bad, right? We got a lot of different ways to get around the city, whether it's side streets or you got trying to use the highways or the byways, the, the freeways or the whatever ways that you want to get around the city, right? We have a robust public transportation system to go along with that, right? We have the art bus that runs up and down central that gets you pretty much from one end of the city to the other. And we have all these other city buses that intermingle with that, that art bus that help alleviate that. So if you're trying to go north to south, the city bus is probably something you're going to want to look into. And then if you're trying to go to a whole different city like Las Lunas, or Santa Fe, we have the Rail Runner. Even Bernal it stops in Bernalillo, believe it or not. I just found that out the other day, which is cool because sometimes, you know, if you want to go that way and don't want to drive and you want to take the Rail Runner, it might be a cool, fun experience, and it's super inexpensive to get on that. It's not going to cost you more than a few bucks. I think you could even buy, like, a, a monthly pass or weekly pass or whatever just to help alleviate some of that cost, um, especially for people who are living in Albuquerque, want to live in Albuquerque, or and go work in Santa Fe because, believe it, Santa Fe, We'll do a video on that. Santa Fe is a whole different monster, way more expensive uh, with way less options. But we'll, we'll get to that. They're super, they're super bougie, whole different culture. We still like them, people from Santa Fe, but 
Albuquerque people, we kind of just look at those people like, hey, you know, you're kind of ritzy. <laughs> and that's just our personal opinion. But all jokes aside, right? And, you know, we're not going to be dealing with super bad traffic all the time. It usually peaks at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock and then 5 to 6. That's usually when the peak hours of, um, we call it any time that you have to get across the, the, the river. In those times, you're probably going to be sitting in traffic for about 45 minutes. But other than that, it's, you know, pretty convenient. Anything that you're looking for, there's, you know, stores all around the corners. And Walmarts are pretty easily accessible. Home Depots, on the other hand, there should maybe like a handful. I live close to one. I, I keep, you know, bragging about that. It's because I know I'm making all the, the hardworking blue collar people who like to do DIYs, which a lot of people down here in Albuquerque do. Um, you know, we, we are a super DIY community. Um, they get jealous to know that I live, you know, five minutes away from the Home Depot. My dad hates it because he lives about 15 to 20 minutes away from the Home Depot. So anytime he needs something, it's always kind of a drag. It's out of the way just to go and get something. I touched on a few good points just talking about, you know, 10 different reasons of why people are moving down here to Albuquerque that I've experienced. And, you know, having these conversations and pass through with people that I get to help. And these are the things that they let me know. So if there's anything that I didn't touch on, you guys want to know a little bit more about something, you know, like the parks or the outdoor activities, well, I'm going to do something on that. That number popping up on the screen here is my direct line. So as much as I love doing these videos, I would also love to help you out with your real estate needs. So please feel free to reach out at any time. I'd love to help. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.